el chisme. going on guys welcome back to a cheese report i'm your host danny flores get rock on those days if you're new here make sure that subscribe button that little bit right next to it that we get notified every time i upload a new video also don't forget to like and comment down below guys what's good welcome back to our brand new cheese report in today's report we're going to be talking about the ace family because apparently they got caught stealing content but we're also going to be talking about jake cook because he called out a big company for not paying his girlfriend and lastly we're going to be talking about must be cindy's mom because she went on facebook live and a lot of people were assuming stuff but before we get started guys go grab your snacks come back sit back and relax for our first story of the day we're going to be talking about the ace family as many of you know the ace family has been in the news for years guys and recently they've been called out for stealing content because this whole fire fest or i mean ace fest they're having so as many of you know or if you did not know in the video where they announced the fire fest <laughs> I keep getting confused. I mean, the Ace Fest at this whole montage where they show a carnival and, you know, it seems legit. It seems fun. Well, it turns out that they actually stole this content from a videographer or should I say videographers named Jay and Matt. The other YouTuber here called Madcaster actually exposed him for it. And this is what he had to say. Carnival or, you know, fair footage of rides and like an aerial view of the fairground. Um, and then it cuts, you know, that's the end of this part of the clip that's relevant. Now, here's what the Ace family placed into their We're Leaving YouTube video. And at the end where they actually promote Ace Fest using this same video footage. So here we go. So here it is. So here's what the Ace family put up. And now you can see it's exactly identical. This footage is precisely the same footage. They just took it from the website of the videographers and they're using it here as their own footage. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you from the new clip that was given to me today. So here I'm gonna show you first, I'm gonna show you the original clip from the YouTube channel and I'm, I'll put a link to the YouTube channel down below where the content came from and you can go check it out and also to give them credit because they deserve credit and I'm not like the Ace Family so I will give them credit. So here's the clip, it's very short, but you can see it's basically outside where it's switching from dark to dawn and it's in like high speed. So that's the clip, the original clip so now here's the clip that the ace family used in the middle of their christmas video and here it goes so you can see it's exactly the same so they ha again have stolen this video they've not given any credit or attribution to the person who they took it from i find it funny guys because as madcaster said himself these people the ace family are hypocrite because uh, if you guys don't know they've been coming for a lot of content creators on the platform because allegedly we're using too much of their videos they've personally you know come for me because i used like 20 seconds of their 20 minute vlog and but if you guys don't know how youtube works or the um, you know fair use works you could actually use your content as long as you're talking about it maybe you know in a video reacting to it criticizing them etc but for them to come for us because we're stealing their content we're literally criticizing them making reaction videos whatever you want to call it they're legit stealing content from legit videographers i'm gonna be honest with you when i saw they announced the whole fire fest i personally thought you know their videographer joe actually did this whole thing because honestly it was a good one but it turns out it wasn't joe it wasn't even part of them they stole it from other people and put it on their channel and actually i think jay and mac are gonna pursue charges because shout out to sloan he put screenshots of what they had to say oh well, it turns out that they had no idea the ace family put that someone messaged him saying this footage uh from your san diego fair video from four years ago with a sad face then they replied hey thanks so much uh that is so frustrating we definitely are looking to pursue legal action since it was used commercially so hopefully jay and matt get you know justice or at least a shout out or something like that to help their business boom um or you know you know just claim their video that way you guys get all their money such as they did to me and other creators but let me know what you think about the situation and let me know if you're going because if you guys did not notice too there's another event the same day as the ace fest so let's say uh maybe you could buy 15 dollars tickets for another event and just sneak in at the aces because the other event is actually selling tickets for 15 dollars yep only 15 dollars guys 
not 500 and not 300 15 dollars guys but like i said uh, maybe snag a 15 dollar ticket up and go to the ace fist i don't know let me know if you're going let me know if you bought tickets and now feel dumb because you could have just bought the 15 dollar ones and just went in i don't know guys uh, let me know down below for our second story of the day we're going to be talking about j cook i know i haven't spoken about j cook very much on this channel um i believe I, i've spoken about him once or twice but he's calling out a company this company goes by the name of those of roses because this company got j cook's girlfriend to work with them and apparently allegedly never paid her i'm like damn what is what's up with companies not paying their um you know their influencers or you know people that they work with but jay cook actually had this to say at those of roses please pay my girlfriend at i am sally's the money you guys owe her this is so unprofessional of you guys and wrong to do you guys are even deleting the comments where our supporters were calling you guys out for it and will not answer any of her dms this has been going on for too long now please do what's right so as you can see, Jay Cook tagged them. Uh, Jay Cook said, you know, I've been commenting, people have been commenting, but they've been deleting the comments from their Instagram. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully, you know, Sally actually gets paid because this honestly sucks, you know, us as uh, I don't want to call us, but you know, people out in the internet, influencers work hard for the money. Well, at least some people work hard for the money and for companies to screw them over, it does suck, but you know, sometimes you do have to write contracts that way. If they don't pay you, you could take the masses to court, but yes, hopefully she does get paid. And yeah, I don't know if a lot of people are going to start working with those of roses because they want their money. So last story of the day, guys, we're going to be talking about must be Cindy's mom, because some of you guys were actually sending me her live. And let me tell you, when I saw this, I was like, damn, what happened to this lady, bro? She had a black eye. She was just saying, I did not get in a fight. This is has this has nothing to do with anyone. I fell or whatever, something like that. And well, I honestly thought she got in a fight with someone else. And yeah, but anyways, this is what she said. Ni tampoco no pelearme, no chulas. Este accidentes nos pueden pasar, pero pelear como para pelearte a chingazos con alguien, yo creo que no. Eso no 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 está bien. Uh, no, 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 no me golpeó nadie, no me he peleado yo con nadie. Acuérdense, cualquier persona se pueden dar un golpe y se pueden golpear. Entonces, este, eh, accidentes le pasan, a, a, nos pueden pasar a cualquier persona y no significa que alguien te haya golpeado ni que seas peleonera. She said this wasn't fire or anything, but a lot of people in the comments were, you know, commenting domestic violence, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yo. This is a serious case. Hopefully nothing like serious, like domestic violence is going on because yeah, that's sad. And I don't know the relationship Cindy has with her mom because we have seen Cindy calling out her mom, her mom calling her out on Facebook. Like, bro, keep your family matters private, not online, because then both of y'all look bad. But yeah, I don't know what's going on. Hopefully nothing serious happened between Cindy and her mom because that's what other people were speculating actually too, saying that Cindy got in a fight with her mom. I don't think that's true. I don't think they would go to that extreme, but you never know, guys. Um, you know, Latinas, Mexicans could get wild. But yeah, guys, I leave your comments, opinions down below. What do you think about this situation? And what do you think about the whole Ace family situation and Jacob situation? But yeah, other than that, this is going to be the end of the Cheese Me Report. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. My name's Danny and I'm out. Peace. Yeah.